Alright, so I'm going to go over what I do when I actually work on patrolling or any of my animation series. I'll just give you a few little tidbits of certain things that I do um, when doing anything, um, when I'm doing my animation. So I'm just going to give you a little snippet of uh, the patrolling. I'm not going to give you too much because, again, I don't want to reserve that for where the animation takes place. I'm just going to jump around a few little things or maybe one or two little things I might show or get into, like, for example, just this section here. And um, this is basically when um, Venus is actually in her ship. And that was just the animatic of what I'm doing. And that will stop there. And I'm just going to jump around a little bit. Just trying to find a scene that works best for when I'm actually doing the animation. Um, see if I can actually find something that works best. And I would have to say... Um, what would work best? You know what? In a sense, let me just make something up for you. So these are a few little things that I, I quickly worked out on my own. I was just doing some tests. You know, just I was bored. Well, not really. I would say bored. I'm just trying to get my mind on different levels of things. And pretty much when I'm drawing, or when I'm speed drawing, I'll come up with an idea. Say for example, I'll use, uh, I'm going to just grab one of the characters from the patrolling series as a reference. So I'll create all these characters and you know, I just want to have a reference in my head as to what I'll be working on. And, okay, we'll use this guy. Stick him out of here. Simply just pop him into this, and he'll be my reference in terms of when I am drawing. And let me see if I can find another good reference. A good decent reference would be. Let's see, another good reference right here. Okay, so let's pull them to the side. Okay, put them on my reference layer. Okay, and let's lock them. Okay, so for example, right now, I just wanted to just create something with one of the characters, something like that, or pretty much where a character is blocking something. So I'll just do a quick rough layout of what I want. Nothing too crazy. And once I have the layout in mind, then I would go back and do whatever I need to do. But I'm not going to do a full animation, just, just doing a layout and some work, just so you can see something. And then you can see how I work in terms of when I'm animating and getting things done. And it's a, it's a time-consuming process, but at least when you have the idea out in your head, you can actually get back in and just really do some insane refined work. So this is just going to be a quick rough gearing of uh, probably the character getting ready to charge or something of that sort so once I, I rough out a proper you know line detail this way when it comes back to doing the in-betweens and most of the chunk work which is normally the hard part of the animating process I have things in my head geared out already so it doesn't it pretty much allows me to run through the animation at a much quicker pace than for example you know anything else of that sort um, so I have more of a refined idea of where I'm going the direction sometimes it's, you know I don't waste your time trying to do super detailed, no, no time for that. You pretty much just want to get a good layout or understanding of what's going to happen. For me, it just makes it simpler just to at least have a unit, um, something that makes sense as a good reference point.
So there it is. So that's for that. So I make sure I reduce this so it's to like one. And for example, I want him to close his hand like that. So I would probably put in that reference of him closing his hand right away. So when I get to that point, when I actually, you know, bring it up to that point, I have that ready. So uh, again, don't worry too much about certain things. You're pretty much layering things in your head. Yeah, sorry, you, you, anything that's in your head, you're pretty much just putting down so you can see. For example, if the character is looking up a little bit more, you know, you just draw a better reference. If that doesn't work, you know, if you don't have it joined, just bring it up a little bit. And you can probably do that, or whichever. If that doesn't work, just redraw it. Okay, just want to make sure that you minimize the amount of work that you're going to have to do later by having a great reference grid out. There we go. Boom. Say so double check. Let's see how that's going to go, how that's going to play. Bring this up a little bit. check so now you can probably go back in and do a quick in between bring this out so you can see where that's coming from you would say okay you want it to be like that so let's see his hands fingers so, and it would be you know for if you have any issues or anything of that sort use your reference is you reference could be your you know you look at yourself again my character don't have fingernails because he has on a glove so I wasn't paying attention I was just destroying there we go okay of course make sure you do the thumb boom A little speed line sometimes if you want. Okay. Okay. And right away I realize that something doesn't work, which is right here. So I'm paying attention. So I go back, do that. Let's check it. Sometimes you're just drawing, you know, and you're not really fully thinking. Okay. Hmm. Doesn't work, but again, you just want to get the idea out of your head. Once you have the idea out of your head, on paper or digital, you can fully, you will, you know, you play it down. You know, you'll see where you're making the gravest error or the right thing. And, um,. Oh, there we go. Bring up a little bit more. Let's see where the head is there. So you go boom, boom. Mm. So that should be a little bit down still. Okay, it's this right here. That. Okay. Why? Okay. And you just do a little play. And that's just for you. So at least you know you're having an idea of what you want. Again, it might not look the best, but again, it is your animation. And you're just you're pretty you I mean this is your animatic, so you're playing it down in your head to see how you want the scene to be. And then of course you go back. You have your reference grids or your reference models. And uh, you refine the bejesus out of it to perfection of what you want it to be and that's that